Hi, welcome all. Today we are going to look how to work with Azure board using Agile and Scrum process. Let's get started. Let's discuss the backlog and work item relationship in Agile process. We have Epic. Under one Epic, we can create multiple feature. Under one feature, we can create multiple product backlog item. And in that, we can create a multiple task. So under portfolio backlog, you will be having Epic and feature. And under product backlog, you will be having product backlog item or user story and task you will having a uh, 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 tracking uh, for the issues and that is impediment which will be based on risk and dependency of the team once the task will be there uh, you have to configure the bug when the developer will fix uh, uh, create uh, fix to uh, creating that uh, thing then the development uh, work that will be marked as completed and if there is any issue will come up then again there will be a bug which the test team is going to address post testing if it is fixed it will pass if it is not fixed again it will go to the developer and so on and the task will get assigned accordingly so the overall in scrum or agile the overall team is called developers or development team there is no discrimination on any role and when the process based on the uh, uh, process the post development where the test process will go up in that test plan test suit test cases and then in that shared step will be there so pbis or user story commitment should match the business objective and it should define properly then only your dod can uh, uh, be wider and your team will be more mature so bug will be something which is missed or implemented in a wrong way then any work which has an impediment or a blocker so which is something which is blocking you uh, with uh, the team uh, or uh, then you need to work with the scrum master on that mitigation plan so uh, here we are looking into the backlog levels and uh, uh, creating the work items. So let's have a look uh, what all work items are there. 
so we will go to board and uh, we will look what all work items are there in your azure board we have uh, work items uh, epic feature bug impediment product backlog item task test case etc you can create also additional based on your project you can go to setting and do that which we are going to look so first we need to click on the backlog and create a work item that is what you want to create whether epic whether a feature whether a pbi task anything or a bug so to go, to uh, do any changes let uh, we will uh, also see on a demo part where you get a better visibility so you can go to the setting and check box all the work item because sometimes when you open the azure boards a few work item might not get checked then it will not be visible in your board so you need to go to the setting and you can check box uh, all the work item and uh, create that work item it will be visible and then you can create the work item like epic feature pbi stars whatever is required once you create uh, and you will click on that particular uh, pbis or a feature or epic whatever you can fill all the details here you can fill uh, a description uh, assignee attachment links images business value risk you can link you can put comment you can link with epic you can give the priority you can give time criticality you can give start date you can give value area acceptance criteria effort uh, original estimate etc you can also make the changes in the field in the setting which we are going to look and you can link link uh, the epic to the other work item and uh, follow any button or comments add team to the project and you can view uh, the keyboard shortcuts uh, etc so you can also add the activity like development testing deployment etc and uh, uh, then you can go to board and uh, we can customize and track which we are going to look into the next slide so let me click next and move into the next slide we are here working with work items so what all work items we have so let's go to board you can get an option of work items we can also create an work item when we go to backlog we will see one by one let me click here and see you have something new work item when you click this drop down you will get to your work item epic feature product backlog item task impediment bug test case you have you can create uh the work item whatever is required so let's understand so epic is your at a high level so it epic is uh, will be at a management level or a portfolio level and in that you will be having feature to uh, grid created which will be vary account to account on the service delivery okay so your feature will be on a program level and then you have in scrum framework product backlog item which we say user story in a agile framework or a kanban and you have product backlog item in scrum which we will be having in all your teams you are working multiple teams scrum of scrum right so in that you have a, a task or sub task so in this product backlog item that is your story you will be having your task sub task test cases bugs impediments etc and that will be based on your application what you are working on so let's start and look how to create the work item and first we will start with to create an epic let's click on epic when you click here see you can enter the title and you can create your epic so you can write here see a uh, pro the website you are working on something you can save you can also fill these details see you have you can assign you can uh, you have your area path you have your iteration path see you have the drop down here see okay and you have your uh, uh, area and then you can write the description you have acceptance criteria status details priority effort business value 
so here in effort you are going to write the estimation when you create the PPI task you have the business value and the time criticality your value area so we will save this epic we'll fill the details later we'll go back to the work item okay so you can also create multiple epic so let's create here uh, if you want to create a multiple epic you can create or you can create a feature okay so let me create a feature okay so you can write here the header okay uh, let's write web site header okay back uh, let's create one more footer so this will be or in your account or a team basis so we will write here footer website uh, website footer back you have these two feature and uh, let's create some uh, okay let me create one more I want to create one more so because your website will incomplete without the body right so let's click this also now we'll create some PPIs see we have created here sorry okay so we have created here when we when we went to work item okay so I want to create some work item while going to backlog you can also create here when you click here you can create your product backlog item you can also create here you can also create uh, when you you know uh, go to dashboard or in your right hand side you'll get some new work item option see you can also create I have I went to backlog new work item I'll choose this drop down product backlog item okay and I want to create as a customer I want enroll button with the page description of website body okay so like this you can create you can add it toward the top or at the bottom everything is fine created okay I've clicked on enter I'll create one more I want uh, as a customer I want to view footer so that it um, glow see it it glow and rotate and rotate okay so like this we can create multiple uh, product backlog so like this uh, you know as a customer I want search bar okay you can also write like this you can have a multiple format of your user story and uh, uh, and with the PBI product backlog item uh, let's create uh, one more optimize data query and let's create one bug as well okay so error while navigating to So we have created the work item, the epic feature product backlog item and your uh, uh, bug. You can also create a task. See in this uh, PBI, we, I can create a task. Let me show you again. So 
so I went here in my second uh, PBI I clicked on plus item so here you have something task you can create a task based on your uh, user story so say task 1 you can assign let's assign to myself you can uh, I'll say the remaining work is uh, 2 so here when you give the remaining work it will also uh, take the uh, your uh, it, it, it will be get tracked in your capacity planning okay and uh, activity I'll say development okay and you can give the description if you have any and uh, we can also create a field here see you we can add a link okay we can also you know link uh, you know you know you can add a tag you can uh, you can take a suggestion or you can just uh, add a tag which i have created before and let's me click to the save and close your task one is created like this let's create a task task two you can fill the details okay so see whenever you create this uh, task always remember that you are filling all the details even though you will not fill the effort estimation or this thing you can also do, do this thing with your sprint planner which we are going to see in the coming slides so here you can actually uh, fill the state area uh, uh, effort priority the business value you can put your comment you can add the link you can assign and save and close okay we can also assign from the board and we have created some task okay let me create one more task four okay now we will move the pbi to the sprint so this is my i want to move it to sprint one okay and uh, see already here we have four product backlog item one bug and four task in your current sprint okay you want to move it for the next you can also move your one product backlog item and task to the coming sprint two okay you can go to your board so it will be in a to-do list this is how we are working with the work item we have created an epic feature bug product backlog item and we have given the details we are going to uh, reference link here I have uh, given you, uh, you can move to index if you need to review any slide and when you click on uh, um, how to start with the Azure DevOps board, so you will get a login link and you can click and it will navigate to that uh, uh, dev.azure.com and then demo generator, it will show you how you can uh, uh, create your Azure boards with parts unlimited and agile portfolio planning and project management and uh, the other uh, last link I have given for Microsoft Azure DevOps documentation where entire Azure De DevOps uh, details and how we will work on Azure DevOps all those uh, 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 documentation has been given there. So you can definitely explore this and it, it is going to be very helpful. There are 11 parts in Azure DevOps using a Scrum process. Kindly watch all the videos. It will be really helpful. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you soon.